Hi everyone, my name is Clea Gonet and welcome to this tutorial of Odyssey, our cutting-edge 2D and 3D animation software developed by Praxinos. Today, we'll be exploring the user interface and some of its key features to help you get started. Let's begin by the templates. When you open Odyssey, you can see different categories that offer different template options. Now, let's take a closer look at the different windows and panels within Odyssey. Understanding this will help you navigate the interface more efficiently and make the most of the tools available. To understand Odyssey's interface, we will start by the 2D drawing category. Here we are in the 2D drawing template. You can see that the interface includes several panels surrounding a 2D viewport where you can draw. Around this viewport, you'll find various tools and options. Let's explore what the panels do and how you can arrange this layout for your own working comfort. Starting from the top, we have the top bar. This area contains your main menus and quick access buttons for saving, undo redo, and resetting your canvas. You can also use the brush options quick access. Next, on the left, you'll find the tools panel. This is where you can select different tools for drawing, editing, and manipulating your artwork. On the left is the brush selector panel. Here you can choose from various brushes and customize them to suit your needs. Below, you'll see the tool options. This area provides additional settings for the currently selected tool allowing you to fine-tune your adjustments. On the right side of the workspace, we have several important panels. First is the color wheel, which allows you to select colors visually. Below the color wheel is the color slider, offering a more precise way to choose your colors. Next, we have the palette, where you can save and access your fabric colors quickly. Finally, we have the layers panel. This is crucial for managing the different elements of your project. For animation, this panel will switch to show the timeline, where you can manage your frames and keyframes. Here you can see in the animation template, the timeline has replaced the layer panel. To rotate the canvas, you can use the arrows button or slide the info. You can also use Ctrl M shortcuts. Simply hold the shortcuts and move your stylus to rotate the view. Middle button reset the canvas. You can also slide the info for zoom in and zoom out. You can also reset the canvas the same way. To pan your canvas, you can use the navigation bars on the right and at the bottom. You can also use the shortcut M plus left mouse button. A little end will appear that helps you navigate the canvas around. One of the powerful features of Odyssey is the ability to fully customize your workspace. This means you can rearrange any window or panel to create a layout that best suits your workflow. To customize your workspace, simply click and drag any window or panel to a new location. For example, maybe you need your tools on the other side or your top bar below your workspace. You can also resize the panels to fit your needs. Just click on the edge of a panel and drag to adjust its size. The flexibility allows you to prioritize the tools and panels you use most frequently. The next feature I'm going to show in the 2D animation file. I'm going to take the timeline. In Odyssey, you also have the option to dock out panels. This means you can take a panel and place it outside the main window, giving you even more flexibility. Docking out panels can be particularly useful when you need quick access to certain tools, without them obstructing your view of the canvas. As an animator, it can be very useful, mostly if you have a second screen or maybe a Cintiq. Then you can take your viewport, for example, and draw on another screen. 
When you want to reintegrate a panel, click on the name and hold and drag to the place you want it to go. As you can see, Odyssey indicates allocated places in your existing layout. Let me show you in a drawing layout. Let's take the color wheel as an example. To dock out the color wheel panel, click on the panel tabs and drag it away from the main workspace. Just drag the side to make it bigger. You can then place it anywhere on your screen, for instance, let's dock it at the top of the canvas. When I don't need it anymore, I can put it back in my existing layout. You can also hide the name of the panels. For that, right click on the name and then click on hide tabs. It will create a blue arrow and if you click back on it, the name goes back. You can also hide completely a tab and keep it in your workspace by docking to the sidebar. Again, right click on the name of the panel and choose Dock to the sidebar. The window will appear compressed on the side. This keeps your tools organized and easy to reach without cluttering your canvas area. To open them, just click on them. And if you need to de-dock your panel, just right click and do the maneuver again by clicking on Unlock You can save a personalized layout. To do that, do your layout and then go to Window, Save Layout, Save Layout As, type the name of your new layout. Mine is gonna be Minimized Animation Layout. And then I'm gonna click on Save. Now that my layout is saved, I can go for and load a new layout. So I'm going to Window, Load Layout, and I choose another layout. You can also reset your layout by going to Window, Load Layout, and click on Default Editor Layout. You will find again all the panels as you can see them when you open a template. If you accidentally close any windows, don't worry. Everything is accessible and can be reopened via the window menu at the top of the software. Just click on the panel name to reopen it. When you go inside Tools and then inside Debug, you can choose Widget Reflector and then change the application scale to have a better view of your tools and bigger options. And so all this allows us to minimize the interface to have as much space as possible to animate. I can close the panels that I'm not using and dock out my file elsewhere or on another window, thus to minimize the interface to have as much space as possible. I can also reopen the panels I need and dock them to the sidebar for them to be handy but not visible all the time. I can also reopen the panels I need and dock them to the sidebar for them to be handy, but not visible all the time. Here is another example with the brush selector panel. Go to window and click on the name of your panel. Here it's open and I'm going to save it. To finish, you can change the language of Odyssey. For that, Go into Edit, Editor Preferences, a new window should open. Then you go into Region and Language, and you can edit and choose between English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. There is more languages to come in the new versions of Odyssey. Afterwards, I recommend setting it as default for your other project by clicking on the Set as Default button. 
Now you know everything about the interface. Thank you for following this tutorial with me. And please don't forget to subscribe to all our socials where we post all our news and ways you can ask questions and for us to help you with anything.